guys welcome back to another vlog we are officially in mexico packing mode i'm currently packing in my future bedroom i just don't have any blinds in this room so i can't sleep on the bed frame because at night everyone will just be able to see it in bean is there on hand to help i'm gonna get packing i'm quite old school i like a list that i can like tick off i've packed most of my bits i'm currently in my pjs because it's just after christmas and it's the right thing to do. I had a really good few days actually. I'll insert the clips here. Alicia and Lily took me for a day out. They bought me a beautiful pair of earrings which stack really nicely with my others. Then they took me for a really nice gym session, like a girly gym date and we went for food afterwards. I don't know what it is about going away. I suddenly get this anxiety that I'm not gonna have enough of this or I'll suddenly have the urge to bring makeup products with me that I haven't used in about six months because I'm like, well, what if I need it? I did pick up a few new things like take the day off mini eye makeup remover, decanted a lot of toners and face washes. Hair care wise, I got these two Olaplex minis in my advent calendar this year. So I thought that was a really good option to take. And I can just repurchase shampoo and conditioner when I'm out there. So I'm not fussed about taking big bottles for the month that are just gonna take up too much space. Makeup is where we had a lot of narrowing down to do and I've managed to fit it all in here, which I think is pretty good seeing as I wanna do some makeup content when I'm out there. Only repurchase slash new product I picked up was the Huda Beauty Concealer. I'm gonna bring a few of these Notorium Phyto lip balms because they're really nice like gloss balm hybrids i'll narrow it down i'll narrow it down i have almost everything in these space nk makeup bags i just absolutely love them one more here <laughs> i also love these smaller sizes i've got jewelry in here i'll probably put some like in-flight essentials in here perfumes some hair bands um spot stickers i mentioned in my last vlog that i wanted to get some fluffy socks and these are the ones that i picked up they are the heat tech ones so i'm praying like are they gonna keep my feet really warm in mexico i do really recommend getting packing cute Cubes. I've got my socks and underwear in there, all my skirts and shorts, bottom half clothing in there, bikinis, pajamas. This has got dresses and long trousers, and then I'll do one more for my tops. I feel like I am properly stewing in my pajamas, but I'm gonna go to the gym in a bit. I wear my AirPod Maxes at the gym, and because they sit sometimes on your face a bit, they can get a bit of makeup on them, and they're not the best gym headphones, to be honest. I find these fall off my head when I'm at the gym. I clean these regularly. I'll link the video that I used to clean them. I thought it would just be a bit more hygienic to get these silicone ear covers i just got them on amazon also when i'm on flights i'll link it below as well i have a bluetooth toggle that you plug into the airplane tv and you can connect your airpods or any bluetooth headphones to the airplane tv and that's really nice because often the headphones on planes are very good and it also means you can like turn and get comfy on the flight i think i'm only going to take one pair of sunglasses I don't know if that's risky because if I lose these, I'm kind of done. I bought this pair from a brand called Vela and I really like them. Like, I like this kind of like aviator style. So we have made pretty good progress with the packing. The packing cubes are just so satisfying how they all fit like that. I'm just going to quickly pop to the gym and move my body. I'm going to do some walking and maybe some deadlifts, see how we feel. And I'm gonna treat myself to an Ando's. Oh, the other day I tried the mac and cheese and you know what, I really liked it. I got a chicken wrap and the mac and cheese on the side and I think it would move into the top three Nando sides for me. It's very garlicky. I wish the portion was bigger and I wish that I had more breadcrumbs on top. I just got back from the gym and I popped to the shops. So I'll show you what I got. Got my wrap, of course, nice and hot. More dates. I'm just going through dates. They kind of curb my sweet tooth at the moment. I'm gonna have a little tomato salad on the side. I got some fish and veg for lunch. Rice and some sauce. And a huge thing of cat food for bean. most annoying thing just happened i've been growing out my nails these are my natural nails to get like a fun design for mexico i was thinking like red tips with gold detailing but this one it's like split like down there so i don't know i don't know if i should just go short if i should just get extensions but i never really get extensions and i'm going for a month 
So what if one pings off? <sighs> So I've just cleaned most of the makeup brushes that I'll be taking on holiday. I just used some shampoo. I have a very dead bonsai here. If anyone has any tips and tricks on how to look after them, please let me know because I know they're tedious. Tomorrow, gym, film my fitness video, meet Maz for a coffee, get a pedicure. I have old gel on my nails now and I have everything I need to take it off. So I might as well do that before instead of paying extra i'm already getting french tip so i feel like i'll be in that chair for a while good morning it's a revelation that i'm not in my pajamas today i've just filmed my fitness q a update i am going to the post office to collect my currency sending a giveaway parcel leggings are on active and my top is on active and then my bra is gymshark perfume i'm gonna wear this dolce and gabbana Devotion. Just a quick update for me. Um, I actually ended up walking from where we cut to pottery, so Camden. And I walked through Soho just to get some steps in, so I don't think I'll have time to go to the gym before I get my pedicure, but I'm a bit too early for my pedicure, so yeah, a bit of an awkward timing. taking two pairs of trainers to Mexico. My Sambas, which I got ages ago from Depop for literally like 20 quid. I haven't cleaned them in ages, so I popped the laces in the wash and I'm just gonna relace them now. And then I'm also taking my black Onosuka Tigers. I love these, I bought these new. They are so comfy and lightweight and I would recommend these over the Sambas, but I just think the Sambas are a good light pair to have. Good morning, it's now the next day. I'm quickly going to Central to meet a friend. I'm running a bit late actually. My friend Lenny recommended me percentage Arabica. Arabica, why am I saying it like that? Arabica for coffee. Yeah, Arabica. Um, and I went the other day and it was so nice. I got a Spanish latte last time, it was so nice. I'm gonna get one of those. I don't need to pick up anything else apart from a new eyelash curler. Um, and yeah, that's it. These are the two books I'm taking. Both of them I've like started but haven't finished and I am very excited to properly get into that. Morning guys, we fly to Mexico tomorrow. I'm so excited. Today I'm getting my nails done. I've been sleeping so badly. I think it's that like pre-flight anxiety. I've been waking up pretty much every few hours. I woke up at half five and just started editing my vlog. I have my heated blanket on, which I got for Christmas, and I have been loving it. I wish I got one sooner. My laptop is literally on its last legs. My battery basically doesn't charge unless it's plugged in, and even when it's plugged in, it will just go down in percentage, even though it's charging. And when I'm editing videos, it just requires a lot of power and my laptop can't really take it. So I just edited quite a bit of that, but I need to let her rest and try and charge up. Have a bit of brekkie. Oh my god, my eyebrows been like that the whole time. For brekkie, I have a cup of tea and my protein oats. I just got back. These are my nails. I am obsessed. They are just stunning. I would say they're more maroon, like a merlot colour. That's probably a more accurate colour there, but oh, she did so good in terms of proper holiday prep the only thing i have left to do is have an everything shower wash my hair guys i haven't washed my hair since for about six days i think that is the longest time i haven't washed my hair in a long time but i'm just being real and i don't think you can really tell okay these were the earrings that i mentioned my friends got me and they stack really well i do have a piercing here but it's a little bit closed up and 
I tried to put something through there. Even swapping my earrings around, like I used to have this one in this hole and this one in this hole. My ears were a bit sore anyway, so trying to reopen a fourth hole, it wasn't happening. Um, and then I just need to like give the house a spruce, tidy it, hoover it, <sighs> and then we could go and enjoy our holiday. <laughs> but first, coffee. I also think my skin looks so much better than like my vlogs two weeks ago since getting micro needling from Alicia and also just applying skincare. I was in a phase where I was literally washing my face, slapping on the nearest moisturizer I could find, putting SVF on in the day and that was it. And at night I would double cleanse and slap on a moisturizer. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like I do think a simple routine is key, but my skin felt slightly neglected so um it's doing much better now i want to see the snacks that i got for the flight which is about 11 hours these will be the roguest airplane snacks you have ever seen i tried these the other day and i actually really liked them and i thought they'd be like a nice alternative to crisps maybe fiber one bars i don't know like sometimes traveling you don't get that much fiber in i also think i might put these in my suitcase um just in case i get hungry got some milk Obviously not for the flight, just in general. Some squash, also not for the flight. A protein bar, some wasabi peas. I am such a savory snack fiend that this should put me on whilst I watch all my films. For shampoo and conditioner, I am gonna be using these. You guys know I love the Red City Bonding Concentrate Conditioner. I've been through bottles and bottles of this. Pretty similar to Olaplex, but I just use Red Ken more often. Similar to those two brands as well is K18, and I'm gonna use their Detox Shampoo. I am gonna double shampoo as always. For body wash, I've been loving this Notorium Multivitamin Daily Nutrients Wash. And for face wash, I've been using the Thayer's, which is nearly done. And because it's nearly done, on the end here we have, Skin Suiticals Simply Clean Gel. I use these to moisturize my body. I love this Vive body oil. It doesn't leave me feeling greasy. It smells lovely. And we are nearly ready. I'm gonna go blow dry my hair as well. This is one of my favorite um, all-in-one conditioner detanglers. Does a little bit of everything. I've genuinely gone through must be like over 10 bottles, I'm sure of it. And then the Bumble and Bumble Invisible Oil Primer. I think this does a good job at keeping, I'm not really doing a blowout, but I am using like a smoothing brush. I think it does quite a nice job of holding the shape. So we're gonna use those. Got my airport outfit all laid out. I'm going for a Skims black t-shirt. A uh, grey hoodie from Lululemon and some wide leg grey joggers from Cos. So a brand new Lululemon thong, which looks so nice. And Lululemon socks. They're very tattered. I quite like them because they're tight and they come up quite high onto my legs. So they're almost like compression socks. I've never actually purchased anything from Lululemon. These were actually gifted from my friend Maz. Hair is done. And just like that, I'm officially Mexico ready. Holiday prep done. I'm so excited. I won't be YouTube vlogging the trip. I'll be doing TikTok vlogs and i'll be posting on my instagram stories so make sure you stay updated over there i'm so happy that i've managed to upload four times in december and i hope you guys have enjoyed them and i appreciate all the support so much you don't understand um but yeah bye